All right, Navy uh, non-resident training course, September 1998. Um, September 1998, Navy Electricity and Electronic Training Series, Module 3, Introduction to Circuit Protection Control Measurement, Navy Tri-14175, approved for public release distribution unlimited. All right, Chapter 1. Chapter 1, Circuit Measurements. Chapter 2, Circuit Protection Device. Chapter 3, Circuit Control Device. And then Glossary Laws, expo Exponents, com um, Schematic Symbols, Cross-Reference, Military Commercial Fuse Designations, Index. All right, throughout this text of this course, we will use, we'll, we'll use the technical manuals associated with the equipment that you will be working with. We will find below the notations and some of the paragraphs. Notations are used to emphasize safety hazards exist. And camera must be taken and observed. Uh, warning, operation procedure, practice, or condition, etc., which may be result in the injury or death or not carefully observed or fall. Followed, caution, operation procedure, may, practice, or condition, which may result in damage to the equipment or carefully observed and followed. No, any operation procedure, practice, or condition, etc., which is essentially is to emphasize. And then... All right, Chapter 1, Circuit Measurement, um, Learning Objectives. Learning Objectives are stated at the beginning of the, each of the chapter. Learning Objectives serve as a problem review of information you're expected to learn in the this chapter. The comprehensive check questions are based on the objective of the basic composition of the NRTC. Um, um, basic completion of the NRTC you indicate you have met the objective learned and the information learning objectives are listed below. Upon completion of this chapter, you will be able to state two circuit dimensions, but you have in the circuit measurement area, you have the one advantage of the out of the circuit measure, uh, in circuit measurement and make meters and one advantage of out of circuit meters. State way, um, state the way which a compass reacts with the conducting wire, including with the compass reaction, increasing with decreasing DC and AC high and low frequencies. State how the A, uh, uh D arsenal or arsenal. Meter movement and reacts to DC state the purpose of the rectifier used in AC meter state the means in terms of the damping is applied with a meter of movements to describe two methods which damping is accomplished identify the average value of the value of the AC measured effective value of the roots per minute or sorry the roots mean squared as the AC values indicate the AC meter scale. Identify the three meters movements of the measurement of the DC and AC without the use of the rectifier. State the electrical quantity measured by an ammeter, which will maybe which which an ammeter is connected in, as a, in, in a circuit. The effect of the ammeter upon circuit. Find the ammeter sensitivity. State the method used to allow the ammeter to move the different ranges of the reason for using the highest range of the connecting the ammeter to the circuit. List the safety precautions of the ammeter. State, um, state the electrical quantity measured by the voltmeter. That's which of the voltmeter is connected in the circuit. The way the, in which the voltmeter affects the circuit being measured in the way in which the voltmeter is to be measured, made. Current reacting meter movement. Um, 13. Divine voltmeter sensitivity. And 14. State the method they used to allow the voltmeter measuring different ranges of the region for even the highest range when connecting the voltmeter to a circuit. 15. Identify the type of the meter movement that reacts with the voltage most common you for the movement that lifts the safety precaution voltmeter use. Um, state, the, state the electrical quantity measured for the ammeter the second of the, the second use of the ammeter in which the ammeter is connected to the resistance being measured. 18. State the method used on to allow the ammeter to make the different range of the area of the ammeter scale that should be used in measuring resistance. 19. State the two types of ammeters in the way in which they are identified. List, um, 20. List the safety precautions using the ammeter. 21. State the primary reason for using the MEGR or method using it. Identify the normal and abnormal indications on a MEGR. List the safety precautions for the MEGR use. 24. State the how the multimeter differs from the other meter. The reason for the multimeter is preferred over the separate meter of the wave of the small meter is chained with the voltage um, measuring device of the current measured device. The state of the reason the AC and DC um, scales multimeter differs from the reason of the having on the mirror with the scale of the multimeter of the proper the wave of reading the multimeter using the mirror. This is state of precautions of multimeter, um, multimeter use. State of the purpose of the hook on type voltmeter. State of the electrical quantity measure of the watt meter and the watt hour meter. Identify the two types of frequency. Identify the two types of the interpret of the meter reading of the scale of the presentation of the ammeter, the voltmeter, on meter, mega, multimeter with the current voltage resistance, examples in volt, watt meter, watt hour meter, and a frequency meter vibrating read and move disc type. Circuit measurement. The chapter will um, acquaint you with the basic of the certain measurement, the circuit measurement, some of the device of the measurement, voltage, current, resistance, power, frequency, other quantities involved with the electrical circuit, such as capacitation, inductancy, and dependency, the true power, effective power, and it's possible to measure the circuit quantity once you are able to select with the proper circuit measuring the device. You will not, you will not, on now, on, you will not know all there is to know about circuit measuring device, test equipment, 
when you finish the chapter, the, 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 that is beyond the scope of the chapter, even beyond the scope of the training series. However, the more information test equipment to measure, provided in, on another portion of the training series, a question which you might ask before starting in the chapter is, what do I need to know about circuit measurement? If you intend to accomplish anything in the field of, electric, a field of electricity and electronics, you must be aware of the force acting over the uh, inside of the AC, inside of the circuits which you work. The module one and two strain the series introduce the physical and involved study of electricity, fundamental concept of the direct alternating current, the terms voltage, current, and air resistance, and where explain are well are as well as various circuit elements of the resistor capacitors, inductors, and transformers, and batteries. In this in explaining these terms, the elements of the schematic symbols, schematic diagrams, where used in many of these schematic diagrams, a meter. A meter was represented with a circuit um, as shown in figure 1-1. One, one. Okay, as you recall, the current in the DC um, circuit with the uh, 6 volt across the 6 ohm resistor is at 1 ampere. The um, at uppercase A. Um, it, in the figure 1-1, one, one, the symbol of the ammeter, the ammeter device for the measure of the current, the name of the ammeter comes from the fact that the meter is measured the current in ampers, thus the, it's called the amper meter or the ammeter, the amper um the ammeter is figure one one measuring the current of the amperes of the voltage resistant value given. All right, so A right here is the ammeter. In the discussion with the explanation of electrical electronic circuit, the quantity but the circuit with the voltage current and the resistance are important. If you measure the electrical quantities in the quant circuit, it's easier to understand what happens with the circuit. They especially true when you are troubleshooting the defective circuit that measuring the voltage current capacitation. Capacity, inductancy, and penitency, resistive, uh, resistance in the circuit we can determine the circuit is not doing so, is not doing what it's supposed to do for an instance you could deliver why, you could determine why a radio is not receiving the transmission and we're receiving or transmitting while your automobile will start and while your automobile, automobile will not start when the electric oven is not working measure will also uh, you, uh, assist you in determining why an electrical component resistor capacitor inductor is not doing, a ju doing its job. Measure electrical parameters quantity within the circuit that is essentially part of the working on electrical and electrical and electron, electrical and electronic equipment. Introduction to circuit measurement. Circuit measurement is the mind of the operation of the electrical electronic device in order to determine the reason um, the device is not operating properly. Since electricity is invisible, you must see, use some sort of device to determine what happens when the electrical circuit is various devices are called test equipment and are used to measure the electrical quantities, the most common type of the test equipment used in kind of the medium device. The in-circuit meters. Some electrical electronic devices have meters built into them. The meters are known as in-circuit meters. In-circuit meters are the mind of the operating of the device which is installed. Some example of the in-circuit meters are the generator or alternator meter of some of the automobile with the voltage current frequency meters on the controls, electrical power plants. The electrical power plant meter records the amount of electricity used in the building. It is not practical to install the in-circuit meter in every circuit. However, it is, been po is possible to install a in-circuit meter in each critical representative circuit to monitor the operation of the piece of the electrical equipment. A mere glance or a scan at the in-circuit meters of the control board are often sufficient to tell the equipment are working properly, while the in-circuit meter will indicate the electrical device is not working or not functioning properly with the cause of the malfunction determined by the troubleshooting. Troubleshooting is processed process of locating the repairing faults and equipment after they have been occurred, and the troubleshooting is covered elsewhere in this training center will be mentioned only as an applied circuit measurement. Out-of-circuit meters and troubleshooting are usually necessary to use a uh, meter that is connected to the electrical electrical equipment. The various test points may be put, moved from one piece of equipment to another. These meters are generally portable self-contained and is known as out-of-circuit meters. Out-of-circuit meters are more versatile than in-circuit meters. They are in that, that in that the hour circuit meters can be used whenever you wish to connect it. Therefore, hour circuit meters are um, more variable, variable, valuable in locating the cause of malfunction device. All right, basic meter movements. The meter movement in the name of the plot of the part of the meter that moves. The meter movement that converts electrical energy and mechanical energy. There are many different types of the meter movements. The first one you will learn is based on the principle of which you are already familiar with, the principle of the interaction of the magnetic fields. Compass and conducting while. You know the electrical conductor in which the current flow of the magnetic field is generated around the compass. Is close, um, if the compass is placed close to the conductor, the compass will react with the magnetic field, figure 1-2. One two show the common um, conductor with a direction. Um, show the north pole, south. Um, yeah, uh huh. Uh, if the battery is disconnected from the north end of the compass, will point uh, to the, ma the ma magnetic north. Illustrated figure one two a. If the broken line um, compass needs the needle point with the right of the battery with the current with the current flow through the circuit with the compass needle aligns itself with the magnetic field of the conductor, indicate with the solid compass needle with the strength of the magnetic field created with around the conductor is dependent upon the amount of the current. Figure one two a. If the resistance of the circuit is six ohm, but the six volt battery shown with the current of the circuit is one amp. The figure one two b. The resistance has twelve ohm, but the six volt battery shown the current is one half. 
half amp or a half amp of the magnetic field of the round with the conductor is 12B. As we get the magnetic field around the conductor, figure 12A, the compass needle in figure 12B does not move as far from the magnet north. In direction with the current is reversed, the compass needle will move the opposite direction because of the polarity of the magnetic field has been reversed. Figure 12C, the battery connections are reversed. The compass needle new now moves into the opposite direction. You can instruct the crude material to measure the current with it until the compass is in paper paper by the using the resistor known value with marking the paper to indicate the numerical value as in figure 1. Three, the hours of the device of the measuring me um, measuring circ current. Figure one three shows a simple meter for compassing um, for a compass. Um, shows six volt, six six ohm, twelve ohm, twenty four ohms. They are actually also um, in fact that the first galvanized meter where it was developed on um, the galvanometer with the instrument the me uh, measurements the small amount of the current with a base on the electromagnetic principle. The galvanized can also be used the principle electromagnetics, which will be covered later in the top of the meter. The figure one three with no particular electrical measurement the amount of the compass swings it depends on the closest to the compass for the conductor carrying out the current direction of the conductor relation of magnetic north influence. Influencing other magnetic fields, and in addition, very small amount of current will not overcome the magnetic field of the earth, and the needle will not move. Permanent magnet moving in the coil movement. The compass for the conducting with a wire meter and can be constructed with a fixed conductor moving the magnet um, de device with a simple capacity to, in reality, the magnet is allowed to move the basic principle of the device for the interaction with the magnetic field. field the compass of the magnet, magnet in the field around the conductor is a simple electromagnet. Permanent magnet moving coil moved, um, movement is based on a fixed permanent magnet in the coil, which is able to move the figure 1 4 with the switches. Close cutting the current through the coil of the coil with the magnetic field will react with the magnetic field of the permanent magnet with the port bottom of the portion of the coil figure one four will, will be the north pole of the electromagnet since the opposing poles of track coil will not be moved at, will, will move to the position figure shown one five. All right, one four shows the movable coil with the magnetic field, no current. Movable coil with the magnetic field. Um the coil wire is wound with an aluminum frame of the bobbin, the middle of the bobbin is support, but the jewelry bearings allow it to move with it freely, as shown in view, um, uh, shown figure one six. Jewel bearing. Um, the basic cool on coil over the arrangement. Um, to use the permanent magnet cool moving device for this, me of the two problems that must be solved. The first way with it um, must be to find the return coil at the original position, where there is no current flowing through the coil. With the second method, is used to indicate the amount of the coil moving. The first problem is solved with the hairspring attached for the end. Each end of the coil is shown with the gear one seven. The hairsprings can also be used to make an electronic connection with the coil. With the use of the hairspring, the coil will return with the internal initial position with no current. The springs will also extend to resist the movement of the coil away the coil when the coil and through the coil. Well, the extraction between the magnetic field of the magnet field um, magnet coil is exactly equal to the force of the hair springs coil so, um, stop moving toward the magnet. So if the um, hair springs, um, the coil hair springs, uh, current through the coil increase the magnetic field generated about um, around the coil increase the strong magnetic field around the coil. The coil further the coil and farther the coil will move with a good base of the meter. But how will you know how far the coil moves if the pointer is attached for the coil extend out to the scale? The porter will move with the coils move with the scale can be marked to indicate the amount of the current through the coil. It's shown in figure one eight. So the scale hairspring um, and the coil hairspring complete coil. Two other features for the increase the accuracy efficiency of the meter movement. If the, if the iron core placed inside of the um, coil concentrated uh, concentrate with the magnet field second curve the poles um, pole pieces attached with the magnet ensure the turning force of the coil in, increases steadily as the current increases the meter movement appears but the fully assembled in sugar one nine. Figure one nine shows assembled meter um, pointer horseshoe magnet. Um, Upper upper hair spring piece of pole piece inner iron core support for core lower hair spring. Um, the permanent mo mo magnet moving coil meter movement the basic movement is not measuring the instrument commonly called the devarsonal uh, movement and because of it is first employed by the French and the arsenal making the electronic measurements. Figure one two view the, the arsenal movement meter movement used in meter a meter using the arsenal movement north south. Um, to um, notice that the scale um, leans. Um, Compass alternating current. Um, up to this point, only direct and current, and current examples have been used. What happens when you put the alternating current figure 111 to show the magnetic clove of the conductor carrying the alternating current at the frequency of 1 hertz? Shows 1 hertz um, and um, on the, uh, in 1 second, um, 90 degree would be a 90 degree pointing east, um, going uh, one hertz at um, infinity with a resistor. Uh, one hertz at infinity with a resistor. All of them from east to north to west to, um, to north again. 
and the compass conductor AC. The compass need will, needle will um, swing toward the east part of the compass down with the current going through the pilot with the representative figure 11A, um, 1A, 111A, with the same way with the current shown with the lower portion of the figure to help you to visualize the current in the conductor figure 11B with the current re uh, returns to zero with the compass needle with the return of the magnet north right with the current going through the negative with the figure 11C with the compass needle swings toward the rest of the po um, portion of the co uh, compass up with the compass needle returns to the magnetic field with the current and returns to zero as shown in figure 11D. The cycle of the current going positive the negative of the compass is swinging back and forth will continue as long with the alternating current. It, there's alternating current in the conductor. Frequency alternating current is created the compass needle will swing back and forth with a higher rate, faster, higher, high enough frequency that the compass needle will not be um, not swing back and forth, but simply vibrate around the magnet in um, position. That, ha that happens with the bit, um, because of the needle can kind of not react fast enough to evaporate rapid current alterations. The compass symbol meter will indicate the average value of the alternating current. Remember the average value of the sim wave zero with vibrating around the zero point with the meter of the magnetic north. North. This is not um, um, this is not a, of much use if you wish to know the value of the alternating current. Some devices, such as rectifiers, also is needed to allow the compass to react to the alternating current in a way that you can can be useful in measuring on current. Rectifier of an AC measurement. A rectifier device is changing the alternating current to a form of direct current. This is this is the way in which they're done with a covered with a little train later in the training series. For now, it's necessary to know the only information figure in 112. Rectifier action show the um. Sim wave being transported to a all positive peak um, um, sim wave. Show the alternating current path of the rectifier pulsating direct current. So the um, AC is then we go through the rectifier to turn into DC. What happens if the compass down figure 11 13? We'll go the compass to the inductor rectified AC with the compass plate for the enclosure of the wire. The frequency of the alternating current is high enough for the compass will vibrate around about a point representing the average value of the pulsating direct current shown figure 113. Um, by connecting a rectifier to the arsenal meter movement, the alternating current measure the device is created with the IC converted with the pulsating DC arsenal movement that will re react to the average value of the pulsating DC with the average value of the one half of the sim wave and other characters that you think the rectifier concern. The fact that the DC arsenal movement is capable of the indicating current and only with the one direction the DC arsenal movement that will be used indicating alternating current without rectifier with the or DC with the wrong polarity, the movement that will be severely damaged the pulsating DC current in a single direction with the arsenal um, the arsenal meter movement that can be used of the long proper um, polarity observed. Or damper can probably the create the use of the rectifier the D arsenal uh, arsenal. Meter movement is the point of the little vibrating and oscillate around the average value indicated. Oscillation will make the meter difficult to read. The process of smoothing out the oscillation of the point is known as the damping. There are two steps basically the types of the damping point over the arsenal meter movement. First method of the damping comes from the arsenal movement itself. The arsenal will move the movement that current through the coil through the coil to move with the magnetic field of the permanent magnet movement of the coil with the conductor through the magnetic field cause the current to be induced. The coil opposite of it to the current could cause the movement of the coil. The indirect current will act with the damp operation. In direct uh, in addition, the method of the damping would cause the movement itself. Itself must be used. Meter used in second method of the damping. The second method of the damping used the most meters is the airtight chamber containing a vein like a windmill attached to a coil. Um, so uh, you have the cover slid off of the, the aluminum damping damping vein enclosed in the damping. Um, shows the spring for the control action. Um, the airtight damping in the coil. The coil moves the, the vein operates for the airtight chamber. The action of the valve um, valve against the air in the chamber um, opposed to the coil move the damp of the operation. Additionally, the vein for the damping meter move the, the damping system will act slowly down with the keep the um, pointer of the overshoot and the rest of the position carrying through the meter is removed, indicating alternating current. Another problem encountered with measuring the AC with the meter of the mo mo movement that is um, react react to the average value of the AC. The value of the working with the AC effective the value of the root mean square value. There is a different scale that is used for the AC meter scale marked with the effective value but even though the average value to which the meter is reacting there is an AC meter will give the incorrect reading if you use other measurements of the DC. Other meter movements. The DC arsenal movement the permanent magnet moving coil there's only one type of the meter movement the other type of the movements can be used with the AC DC measurements without use of the rectifier. Galvano, galvano meters are mentioned the earlier topic this day but that they could be either electromagnetic or electrodynamic. Electrodynamic meter meters movements will be discussed at this point. Electrodynamic meter movement. The electrodynamic um, movement uses the same basic operating principle: the basic moving coil meter movement, except that the permanent magnet is placed within the fixed coil of the moving coil, with the, which the meter is attached with, suspended between the two field coils, connected with a series of the coils of the three coils, two field coils, moving coil, connected with a series of coils of the meter with the terminal same current flow through each other. So the figure one five shows electrodynamic moving the fixed coil around the moving coil, um, fixed coil. Those are the wrap around the thing. Uh, okay. 
or the current flow of each direction of the three coil co of the ma um, co of the magnetic field that exists between the field coil of the current of the moving coil that the, the magnetic the exert, exert turning forth the long, along, among against the spring of the current is reversed the field polarity but the polarity of the moving coil reverses at the same time the turning force for continue the original direction since the reversing of the current does not re reverse the turning of the force of the type of the movement the type of the movement can be used with both AC and DC if the scale is chained with the voltmeters and with the electrodynamic principle operation the most important application is in the watt meter the watt meter along with the voltmeter and meter will be discussed later in this in this topic Moving vein meters. The moving vein meters are sometimes called moving iron movement. As, um, moving iron movement is the most commonly used the movements of the AC meter. The moving main vein meter um, operates the principle of the magnetic repulsion between like pole of figure 116. The current to be used the flow of the coil of the producing the magnetic field from which the proportion of the strength of the, of the, of the current suspended with the field of two iron veins, one fixed position, other attached to the meter point. Movable, the magnetic magnetic of the iron veins with some hilarity regardless of the direction of flow of the coil with some like repuls or re repel when moving the vein pulls away with the vein move with the measure point. This mo motion exerts the turning of the force against the spring. The distance of the vein will move against the force, but the spring depends on the strength of the magnetic field, which the turns, which turn depends on the coil, coil current. So it's, uh, your pointer, your spring, your mix, um, your moving vein, fixed vein, and magnetic repulsion ca causes magnetic valve to turn. Meter terminals. The meters are the meters are generally 60 hertz AC with the uh, any uh, uh, other AC frequencies, but chain with the meter scale that indicate the DC values rather than AC root mean square values. Move with the vein meters the measure for the DC current, DC voltage. Not, this, is not, this is not recommended to do the residual mechanism left in the veins, which result in the air with the instrument. One of the major disadvantages for the type of the meter movement that occurs during the high reluctance of the magnetic coil that causes over the material requires much more than DR's own meter to produce the full scale of detection of the reducing of the meter's sensitivity. All right, hot wire and thermocouple meter movements. The hot wire thermocouple movements are both the use of the heating effect of the current flow through the resistance called the meter deflection that each of the use of the different meter with this one there is operational due to depending only on the heating effect of the current flow. They may be used to both the direct current and the AL turning current with any of the frequency single scale. On single scale, hot wire movement to move the de uh, deflection depends on the expansion of the high resistance wire by using heating effect of the wire with the current flow through it. Resistant wire is stretched taut in between the two ter ter meter terminals. The thread is attached to the right angle. The center of the wire, the spring connected to the opposite end of the three th thread extends with the constant tension of the resistant wire. Current flow heats the wire and can cause it to expand. The motion is transferred to the meter pointer through the thread and the pivot. Our right, figure one seven shows the hot wire meter, the resistance wire, the meter terminals, the current path, and the pivot in the thread um, spring. Thermocouple meter consists of the resistance of wire across the meter terminals heat of the portion of the mount with the current figure 118 and shape of the wire semi thermocouple of a junction with the two unlike metal uh, metal wires which connect across the very sense of the DC move, meter movement usually a DR small meter movement that is as the current uh, being measured heat of the heating resistor a small current through the thermocouple heat wires then um, the meter movement is generated with the thermocouple junction the current being measured flow through the only resistance wire the, not, not through the meter movement itself the pointer turning the portion of the mount with the heat generated the resistant wire thermocoupling wire meter terminals resistant wire thermocouple the pointer and the meter movement um ammeters ammeters device the measurement current but since all the meters movement that have the resistance or resistor will be used to represent the meter the following explanation the direct current for, um, circuits will be used to simplicity explanation the ammeter connected in the series of the figure 119 and resistor 1 resistor 2 are in the series of the total circuit and resistance of the resistor 2 and resistor um, resistor 1 and resistor total total circuit controls both resistor figure 119 b resistor 1 and resistor 2 are in parallel total circuits or resistance one over the one over one over the one over one R one plus one O and over one R two. The total circuit does not flow in either resistors. Um, series in parallel circuit the resistor one res, um, meter resistor two. The load um, show them in parallel so series on A and B parallel. Um, if the if resistor one represents the ammeter, the only way the total circuit of the current will flow through the meter are this measure of the resistor one measure in, what, series in the circuit load and the resistor two shown in figure one nineteen A. In the complex electrical circuits, you're not always concerned with the total circuit concurrent. You may be interested in the current through, um, through a particular component with a group of the components in case of the ammeter is always connected in the series of the circuit that you wish to test. The figure 20 shows the various circuit arrangements of the ammeter properly connected to the measuring current for various portions of the circuit. All right, so you want to measure the A is a series circuit. Where if you want to load, um, measure the negative, you line up the uh, ampere total ammeter um, after the load of the circuit. 
negative negative following the negative negative and uh, also the B parallel circuit would be ammeter between um, on the end of the return wire back to the source of the resistor one and resistor two um, parallel circuit source um, um, resistor one and resistor two would be in between resistor two and one on the parallel circuit and source of the parallel circuit ammeter resistor one um, for resistor one on, on the circuit and pair on the circuit for the resistor one. Series parallel circuit, um, you'd have it across um, the end of uh, series. Uh, you see, you have the series uh, um, resistor one and resistor resistor one and resistor one and resistor two and resistor two. You take the end, the um, one with the double resistor, the, the most amount of resistors, the total resistors. Connecting the ammeter in the pair will give you only an incorrect measurement. It would also damage the ammeter because of the too much of the current would pass through. Effect of the circuit being measured, the measure of me meter effects of the circuit resistance, the circuit of the resistor one move of the circuit in the figure 119A. The total circuit resistance is resistor two where the current is equal to the amps is equal to the volts over the resistance square, um, the resistance two, resistor two. And with the meter of the resistor one circuit, the circuit resistor of the resistor one, resistor two, and the circuits are equal to the amps as, as times the voltage over the resistor two plus resistor two, resistor one plus resistor two. I believe I'm right about that. I think it's a typo. Small resistant meter resistor one. Um, so, all right, yeah, it is. It's a typo. Resistor one plus resistor two. The less effect of the circuit being um, being measured, the resistant one total resistance of the meter, not just the resistance of the meter movement. All right, ammeter sensitivity. The ammeter sensitivity, the amount of the current necessary to full scale, um, to cause a full scale of deflection maximum reading the ammeter. The smaller amount of the current, the more sensitive the ammeter. The fan, for example, the ammeter maximum current reading the one milliamp that would have the sensitivity of one milliamp that would be more sensitive than the ammeter with the maximum reading of one amp. Or the sensitivity one amp, the sensitivity can give the meter movement of the term of the ammeter sensitivity. You usually refer to the entire amp, but not just the meter move. The ammeter consists of more than just the meter measurements. And meter range. If the meter, the move of the sensitivity of one milliamp to connect with the series of the circuit with the measure for the current of the one milliamp, what would you do with the measure for the coverage one milliamp? The answer for the look of the question, figure 121, 121A, 10 volts apply with the two resistors parallel, uh, in parallel resistor one and the 10 ohm resistor one and resistor two, that 1.1 ohms uh, gives you, um, since the voltage of the parallel branches is equal to, um, Resistor one one amp and the resistor two nine amps. You'd have a uh, um, you um, total total ten amps, total one hundred amps, total five fifty amps. Um, figure twenty one. The voltage is increased to hundred volts now. The the resistor one is a hundred over one ten ohm, ten ohms. Um, to give you ten amps. Resistor two. 100 volts over 1.1 amps or 90 amps. The, the voltage referred to reduced to 100 volts of the, to the 50 volts is the resistor one and 50 volts over the 10 ohms is 5 amps. One the resistor over the 50 amps over the 1.1 is 45 amps. Um, Note that the relationship of the ratio of the um, the amps of resistor one amps of resistor two means the, the, the resistor two uh, amp the resistor two the nine times greater than resistor one and the one tenth of the turn, total current. If the, if the resistor is replaced with the meter moving, if the 10 ohm resistor, the sensitivity, the 10 amp, the reading of the meter will represent one tenth of the current circuit, but the resistor 2 will carry the ten, 9 tenth of the current of the resistor 2 shunt resistor because it is, it is a shunt resistor because a shunt is a portion of the current from the meter of the movement by, um, for, from the meter movement resistor 1 is method. 10 amp meter movement will um, measure the current up to the 100 amp amps. Um, be, by adding the second scale to the faith of the meter, the current can be read directly. By adding several shunt meters for the meter capable of switch cells like the desired um, resistor by the man with the capable of measuring several different maximum current reading ranges. Most meter movement that you have today is sensitivity about 5 microamps to 1 milliamp milliampere. Figure 122 shows the circuit with the switch with the high range of the shunt with the ammeter with the, with the meter with the mic movement the sensitivity of the 100 milliamp milli microamper with the shunt resistor with the ammeter with the fine range of 100 microamps to 110 one, 100 milliamps of 1 amper cell selected by a switch. Or 122 shows the ammeter internal shunt. Um, 110 and 100 millimeters from the resistor one resistor and one tenth of the um of of um of an amp. Uh, or sorry, one tenth of an um, uh, 100 milliamps, 10 milliamps, one milliamp. The uh, like, you know, so the resistor kind of like a rheostat or a shunt resistor at 100 um microamps or 100 ohms. Um. By adding several shunt resistance meters, the cave of the switch to with the desired resistor for the ammeter will be ca um, capable of measuring the several different the maximum current reading ranges. Most ma um, meters move with the UV different sense um, today have a sensitive of the 5 microamp to 1 milliamp. Figure, tw figure 122 show with the circle of the ammeter, the high range of the shunt ammeter with the UV meter. Um, 
You've the major um, movement with a sensor for the 100 mi mi microamper. The shunt resistor for the ammeter has five ranges: 100 microamps, one and 10 and 100 milliamps with one amp. The selected switch. Which switch with the um, when the, with the switch with the 100 microamp the position that all the current may be measured with the going through the meter move with the, uh, not, none of the current will go the, through any of the short position for the ammeter for switch with the one milliampere position the current being measured will uh, will have all the parallel path of the meter the move in the short position resistor one resistor two resistor three resistor four <coughs> not only a portion of the current will through the move, meter move the result of the current with the going through the short position when the switch to the 10 milliampere position figure 122 but the only the resistor one resistor two and resistor three shunt meter the position the shunt resistance is less than resistor four with the circuit as was the cave of the one milliampere position the most current will go through the shunt resistor less current will go through the meter movement if the resistance resistance the current the most current will go through the shunt resistor if the is long with the current measure but the does not exceed with the range with the selected the meter move will never move more than 100 microamperes of current through it or the current through it over the current through it should the resistors are made with a close tolerance, the meter for the shunt resistor is selected with the resistor of one tenth of an ohm. Um, in figure the resistor one, we'll figure one twenty two. Actual resistance shunt resistor will not vary from the value of the more than one percent shunt resistor is used to play, um, protect the meter movement for the, to allow the accurate movement measurement. And important with the resistance of shunt resistors is known to vary accurately. In figure one twenty two, resistors and meters are internal shunt, shunt resistors inside meter cases are selected by switches. Um, for limited current it ranges of below fifty amps, internal shunt, mo shunt movements are often employed. For higher current ranges above 50 amp the, the external shunt, the U with the external shunt resistor serve for the same purpose. The internal shunt resistor, the external shunt, the connect to the circuit, the circuit with the measurement of the arrow of the ammeter shunt bypass the ammeter only with the portion going through the meter. The external shunt will be marked with the maximum current value of the ammeter with the measure of the, the shunt used. And in Figure 123, show the ammeter designed to the external shunt with the D arsenal movement meter movement. The Figure 123A show the internal construct of the meter, and while the external shunt is connected to the meter, then circuit being used in Figure 123C show the typical external shunts. Our figure 1A shows the internal construction of the circuit. Um, um, show the scale so, so calibrated in uh, amps to rear the base and the, to the rear of the ba base balance spring. The, the, the aerosol movement from the rear and the balance spring of the meter relates um, your resistor load, external shunt, and external shunt and voltage source for load. B shows the external view and C shows the typical external ammeter sh um, shunts. Shunt, a shunt is nothing more than a resistor in a parallel that with a meter movement. The measure of the high current for the very small um, resistance shunts are you for the majority of the current that will go through this shunt with the total resistance of the parallel circuit the meter of movement of the shunt resistor is always less than the resistance of small resistor ammeter range. Then create with the resistance to create with the important because of the load resistance the high current circuit is smaller than the load resistance low current circuit. To obtain the accurate measurement of the necessary for the ammeter resistance you know, be, um, much left of the resistance since the ammeter is connected with the series of the load. Rain selection. Part of the correction, um, correct the use of the ammeter is proper to use for the rain selection. If the current is being measured larger than the scale of the meter, the meter movement that has success of the current will be damaged. Therefore, it is important to always start with the highest range when you are using an ammeter. The current can be used to mend several range for the range for the result with the reading of the middle of the scale. Figure 124 illustrates these positions. Figure 124 shows the 250 milliamps to 500 milliamps, 50 milliamps to 10 milliamps to 5 amps. Figure blue says 250 milliamps to 50 milliamps to 10 milliamps to 5 amp, uh, 5 milliamps. Um, figure C says 250 milliamps to 50 milliamps and 10 milliamps and also 5 milliamps. Notice they are scored underneath them. Figure 124A shows the initial reading of the circuit. The highest range of 250 milliamps have been selected with the net meter indication very small, with a very difficult proper, properly interpret the reading with any degree of accuracy. Figure 124B shows the select second reading with an excellent light and large, larger scale 50 milliamps. The meter deflection light, lighter, light, little greater than possible interpreting the 5 milliamps since the approximation of the current is less than the next range. The meter is switched as shown in Figure 124C. The range of the meter is 10 milliamps. It is possible to read the meter indication of 5 milliamps the greatest degree of the Accuracy of the current indicator that equal or greater than the next range of the of the amperes of five milliamps of the meter should not be switched to the next range. And meter safety precautions. And when you have the ammeter, certain precautions must be observed to prevent injury working with yourself or the other, prevent damage to ammeter with the other equipment or the equipment within you are working with the following list of the minimum precautions to preserve the using ammeter. Our ammeters must always be connected in a series where the circuit is under the test. Always start with the highest range of the ammeter to de-energize the discharge circuit completely before connecting the disconnect the ammeter. In the um, DC ammeters, observe the proper circuit polarity to prevent the ammeter from being damaged. Never use the DC or ammeter to measure AC. Observe the general safety precaution with electrical and electronic devices. All right, voltmeters. All voltmeters discovered the for reactive with the current have been shown. But then, how the ammeters control with the meter movement is often necessary to measure the circuit properties. Other than the current volt measurements, for example, accomplished for the voltmeter. Voltmeters connected in parallel.
Um, we're going to cut the tape right there. I think that's about 30 minutes of reading.